to the lighter? Um, maybe check the bedside table. You see? You're the best. Wah, wah. Happy birthday. Such a great idea. Look at the claw machines, the diner. I know. What? About the card. What card? The card under the bed, the goose card. Goose card? The one from your ex, also called Goose. So you've been going through my stuff? No, I was looking for a lighter. Under the bed? Yeah, under the bed. Don't you think you're overreacting? A little, it's just a stupid word. Like, babe or mate. I call all my mates goose, it's a proper northern thing. No, it's not. No, you're right, it isn't. But come on, so... Sorry, who the fuck recycles nicknames? I don't even remember calling her that. It never once crossed your mind that that's also what you call your ex. Never. Promise. Really sorry. I can see it's a bit weird. I feel weird about it, but I didn't realise. I promise. Oh, and if you didn't realise, then... How about this? You can be goose number one. No, you can't wriggle out of this, James. I'll get you a new nickname, then. Something proper unique. Rat Queen. Rat Queen. Piss off. Oh, come on, don't be like that, Rat Queen. Oh, you can be such a prick sometimes. Do you not see how this makes me feel? You make me feel this small. Like I'm nothing to you, or nothing special at least. You are special, mate. Goose number one.
so sorry. I thought you were someone else. Who's your girlfriend? Oh, Goosey. Yeah, too soon, sorry. Thank you. Now remember, you've got to get the double drop when the tray pulls right back. Okay. Good luck. Wait, 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 where are you going? I'm going to play on one round there. What's wrong with this one? There's one round there that is stacked, so this one isn't. They can't all be stacked, so chill out. I'll be back in a minute. What's that? It's a milk stout. It's local. I thought it'd be nice. Sophie, it's midday. I just want a lager. OK, what if you don't like it? Then I'll have it. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Oh, sorry, Soph. You're the best. I know. Mm. Oh, for God's sake, give it here, go. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like a lager. Do you think you have a type? Not really. Why? So, what, you just go for anything then? I don't like where this is going. It's a bit trappy. What about you? Do you have a type? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Funny. Name it. And a bit of a prick. I get it. You're absolutely obsessed. No, come on, answer the question. <laughs> I don't know, I guess. Nice girls. Nice. Nice, that's it, nice. What's so wrong with nice? I don't know, funny, kind. Come on, Soph, don't do this. No, I just don't get you. Because you, you could be with someone nice. I like the way you put chilli on things that no one else would and, 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 and how you call your mum every Sunday. What is it about me that you actually like?
I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you'd... Do you know, we came here today. On our third date, you told me this was your favorite place to visit as a kid. I've loved coming here. It's you who's been hell-bent on sabotage, isn't it? No, that's not fair. You've been on your phone all day. You don't feel fucking invisible. And then seeing the card and the photo this morning, I just... The card and the photo, like... And they're actually two different people, yeah. Fucking hell. You just can't help yourself, can you? Are you actually that afraid of opening up and telling me how you feel, or are you just going through the motions? I'm not going through the motions. I just don't know what you want me to say. Like, I like doing stuff like photo boards. I don't want to do those things with you. But you've got to accept that I have shared some of those things, you know my life with other people before you. Are you telling me you've never taken me to the same restaurant or bar as someone else or told me the same anecdote exactly the same way you told the next? I'm sorry, so, but not everything has to be unique and special. Yeah, but it has to feel special. Otherwise, what's the point of any of it? I feel like this is special. I really want to believe you, but I just... I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Show you something. This is where I last saw my dad. After he left my mum, I'd see him once a month. And we'd come here. <laughs> Eat fish and chips and watch sunset. Then he'd drive me home. Proper reminds me of him. Being happy with him here. It was a special place, yeah. <laughs> I came here by myself once and cried solidly for an hour. I ate fish and chips on my own and then got the train home. It's pretty bleak. I know I have these patterns. You figure out what jokes work, what stories to tell, like a dress rehearsal for the relationship that's really gonna last. And then you meet someone and you think this is it. This is the one that's gonna last and then it... And then you meet someone else and you think, nah, this is it. This is the one that's really gonna last. happens enough times and you stop believing your own lies. And now, when I meet someone, I don't go all in, because I'm scared of losing that last 
This is it. I have left. But with you, it feels different. I'm just paralyzed by fear that I'm not going to know how to break the pattern. I guess that's why I brought you here today, is because. I love you. You're the best. 